Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here and you're not already subscribed to the channel, I'd love if you hit that subscribe button. It would really help us out a lot. Okay, you guys, today's video is going to be something a little bit different than what we're used to doing here in the homestead. But since it is a homestead, something that we're going to have to be seeing a lot of here is buying equipment. Uh, the two kind of go hand in hand. In fact, with this garden build, we're probably going to be purchasing a bit more equipment in the very near future. So at the end of this video, guys, let me know what you think. Do you like these equipment review or equipment impression videos? I'll do more if you do like them. Um, like I said, we, we're going to have to be buying some more stuff and uh, maybe it'll help you out in your homestead to have a review of this stuff. Well, guys, taking a little break from the garden build because it is warming right up and I kind of forgot about the fact that I do not have a lawn tractor or a lawnmower or anything. While my property is mostly wooded, I got, I'd say, about at least an acre of lawn that needs to be mowed. So. By the time I pay someone to do it, I could buy something. So I think we're gonna head on down to the store and go look at some lawnmowers. So we got a nice line of craftsmen here. The newer line that they have out. Nice looking machines. Made in the USA, that's a good thing. Don't know much about these craftsmen. Got the tried, tested and true Husqvarna's. Very nice machines. I like the seat on these, with that open back and the stitching. That's real nice. Versus the closed back. I don't like the closed back so much because the water pulls up like that. Also, it's real hot down here and I like to get some ventilation. But after doing some research, I think I'm going green. All right, here she is. Time to bring her home. All right, well, we got her home. Looking pretty good if I don't say so myself. So this is the new line of John Deere ride-on mowers for 2021. Um, it's they're now the S series for the for the 100 series mowers. Previously in 2020 it was the E series. Um, so this is an S130. Um, it's a 42 inch deck, which I figure for about an acre of grass is about all I'm gonna need. It's got kind of a, a redesign on it. The, the hood kind of looks like they're, um, like they're more heavy duty ag equipment. They kind of brought that styling into their lawn tractor look. Um, or at least I think that's what they were going for because that's what it looks like to me. But it's a nice looking machine. Zooming into our spindle here, I had saw a couple people complaining that they don't look like they're greased from the factory, but you can clearly see that was greased from the factory. Woo! And our front axle was greased as well too. Also a change was, I think they, or I, I believe that they upgraded the power. I think the, um, the, the other, the previous E-Series were, I believe 19 horsepower engines in this line. Um, this is now a 22 horsepower engine. It's branded um, John Deere, but I believe it's Briggs and Stratton. Um, not sure, let's pop the hood and go take a look. It should be stamped on the side if it is. Yeah, so it says John Deere on the cowling. Yep, Briggs and Stratton, that's what I thought. Another thing I liked about this was the openness. When you pop this hood up, I mean, I'm a person who services my own stuff and I just like having that, that access to everything. It's really important to me, especially if you guys ever worked on new cars or anything. It's just everything's so stuffed in there. Half the engines are under the windshield. It's a nightmare. This is nice and, and serviceable. Also, and feel free to correct me if I'm wrong on this, guys, but this has um, a hydrostatic transmission. I believe the E-Series did not have that. I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that, but this is a true hydrostatic transmission on this machine. As I mentioned before, I really like the seats on these. I like that it's an open back design for ventilation. It's real hot down here in the south. It's a good quality seat, good material, and I like that it's adjustable a lot. I'm a bigger guy, and uh, you know, having that seat all the way up against the steering wheel is no fun for someone like me. Something else to note is previously, uh, a lot of machines used to have the gas gauge right here. It was kind of a floating gas gauge that you'd have to, you know, bend over and look at it. And now they've got a digital gauge up top here that shows you what your fuel is. Looks like they've redone the decals a little bit too. Fuel fill is in the back right under the seat. Something else I think is pretty cool is they've got these nice steel bumpers on here. Headlights look pretty good, but one simple upgrade I'd like to do, just because I'm silly like that, is I probably want to change those out to LED 
Um, some of you that have lawn tractors might notice if you have incandescent bulbs like this, when you, um, you, know, you know, the motor will rev or whatnot, you might get like the, the dimming and brightening of the lights, whereas that won't happen with LED bulbs. So that's something I'm gonna look to change. So the two features that I think are neat, but might be a little bit gimmicky is the deck wash. This has one of those um, hose couplings right here. So you just hook up your garden hose to it and it's supposed to wash your deck out. Um, personally, I don't see that working too well. Could be wrong. Um, it just seems kind of gimmicky to me. Hopefully it does because cleaning up the deck of the lawnmower is never a fun task. So that would make it a lot easier if it does work. The other thing that is a source of controversy for a lot of people is the easy change oil system. Now, I don't know how I feel about this one. Um, you just unsnap this, it's like a quarter turn, it comes out, you put a new one in, they're like 42 bucks, which is really expensive in my opinion. And uh, you check your oil level with the dipstick on the other side and your oil change is done. I, I don't know about that. Um, I know that they sell a conversion kit for these where you can, I guess, bypass that, put a regular spin on oil filter, Get a drain plug going, drain your oil out the old fashioned way and, and do it, you know, the way it's been done for a long time. I, I kind of like that better. Um, I am not the know all be all on this. So if you guys think I'm wrong, if you, anyone knows about these and, and they, you know, it's not a, it's not gimmicky and it really works great. Let me know. I'd love to hear the criticism. So guys, well, I'd love to get the views that are associated with a full fledged product review. That's not what this channel is about, and I'm sorry if it's kind of turned into that. This is more of a first impression of this machine and what I think and what I noticed just on the first walk around. But for now, I've got to get it unloaded and put away. So we'll get this off the trailer. If you guys give me a second, I'll be right back. On second thought, maybe I'll take you with me. It might make for really good content if I crash my brand new tractor on the first uh, fire up. Well, I couldn't turn the key and uh, choke it at the same time, but the good news is I didn't crash. Bad news for you guys, maybe. Good news for me. Well, I could say this much, at least with uh, one surround. It, it seems to be very well built. Um, it seems very solid. And compare, I had one of these back um, in about two houses ago. And this is really, really, the seat is very, very comfortable um, in comparison to what I had pr uh, prior. So, win-win there. I do notice this came with an electric PTO, meaning this is the switch that engages your blades. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. I thought that this model came with the manual PTO, which is basically just cable operated. Uh, I know this is, you know, I guess technically an upgrade. I'm uh, on, on a bit more of an expensive machine and it may work great. I don't know. Um, I've just always been used to engaging it manually. So uh, it'll be a little bit of getting used to, not necessarily getting used to, but learning to trust that. Hopefully it's reliable. All right, guys, that's it for the lawnmower. I'm pretty happy with it. What do you guys think? You guys like it? Yeah? All right, cool. Mia, what do you think? Come here. No? Mia. You don't want to see it? Come on. Come see it. Come on. Come see it. What do you think? Super cool, huh? You like it? Give me five. Sit. Well, that's ten. Love you. Love you. One more, something we definitely had to get. I mean, I think I was paying 75 bucks a cut last year when we first bought the property for somebody to come and cut it. Um, it's just, that gets kind of crazy after a while. So uh, it was a good investment. Uh, something that we definitely need here on the homestead. Um, I would love to have gotten a tractor tractor, but you know, about 20,000 short. But um, all right, let me go inside. Get some uh, burgers going, and we'll get back on the garden build ASAP. Well, guys, thanks so much for watching my first impression video on the John Deere S130. You know, for a long time, for me, John Deere has always been this kind of Americana or this American icon. I know it's silly. I've always wanted a John Deere machine. I've always had this kind of love affair with that. American image of John Deere. So uh, I finally got myself one. Um, I don't think it's really fair to call this video a full review because I think reviews are reflective of after you've beat on something for a year and you've put it through its torture test, 
that's a true review. This is more of a first impression of this machine and, uh, or an, an initial impression, should I say. Initial impression, should I say. And um, my initial impression is very positive of it. I'm very happy with my purchase. I think the machine is really nice. I think it's gonna serve us well. Um, I hope it's gonna serve us well for a long time. And um, I, will, I will come back and make another video once we've put this thing through the ringer a little bit and put it to use. Our grass is starting to come up. It's about that time. Um, we're gonna be putting it through heavy use. So um, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done that already. Um, and we'll catch you on the next video. Be good.